for the material i'm using this chunky yarn over here it's called butterfly it's a chunky four play yarn and this is one of my favorite kenyan brand it's made in kenya by spinners and spinners limited and it's a hundred gram and this ball of a hundred gram is enough to make two pairs of the socks and yeah so it's chunky so i would advise you to use a chunky yarn and with the chunky yarn i'm going to use six uh sorry five millimeter crochet hook you need scissor to cut off your ends and you need darning needle i forgot to remove my needle so this is the needle that i'm going to use the big eyed needle so yeah let's get straight into the video so you're going to start making a number of stitches that's going to wrap around your leg through your sole exactly what i'm doing in the video so i have a slim foot i'm going to start chaining up to 7.5 inches but if you have like wide foot you can start with nine inches so to begin make a slip knot leave a long tail because we're going to use that tail to sew in one end of our shoe so make a number of chains equivalent to the number of inches that you're starting with so for me i'm going to chain 32 chain stitches which is equivalent to 7.5 inches So I have my 32 chain stitches and now we're going to start making the first row. So turn your work around, you're going to see those little bumps. We're going to work through the back loop. So skip the first stitch and in the second stitch from the hook make a slip stitch. So in this row, we're going to make slip stitch in each and every stitch until you complete the row, working through the back loop. Actually, the pattern is going to be working through the back loop until you complete this shoe. Working through the back loop in the first row is usually hectic but it's going to get better with the time as we progress so at the end of the row uh, you should be having something like this to begin on the next row chain one and the chain one acts as your first stitch and turn your work around and also for the next number of rows we're going to work through the back loop only this pattern we are only working through the back loop so if you turn your work on to this other side, this is the back loop that I'm talking about. So this chain one has already taken this first back loop. So it means this is your second stitch that you're going to go into. Now go into that second stitch and make and make a slip stitch. So it's just slip stitch in each and every stitch until you complete the row. You can make your slip stitches loosely, it doesn't matter. So make the slip stitch until you complete the row. I'm going to meet you at this other end. So at the end of the row, don't forget to work into this final stitch over here. This is your last stitch. And now to begin on the next row, chain one, turn your work around. Remember the chain one acts as your first stitch. Now you're going to go into this second. You skip this one over here and this one, make a slip stitch. So make slip stitch in each and every stitch 
until you complete the row. I'm going to meet you at the end of the row and show you what to do. So just be keen when you're completing your row so that you don't end up um, adding a stitch or deducting a stitch. Also, the best way to go about this is to keep on counting your stitches for the next five rows just to be sure that you're doing the right thing. As for me, uh, I have 31 stitches. So at the end of the row, in all rows actually, I should be having 31 stitches. So whatever number of stitches that you started with, uh, you should be able to have those stitches if you follow everything correctly. Except for the Okay, except for the fact that maybe I, I chained 32 and when I did, when I made the first row, I ended up losing one stitch because we worked in the second stitch from the, from the hook. So now I'm at the end of the row and this is the part that I want you to be keen enough. We have two stitches left, but you can only see this stitch over here. So this is your second last stitch, make a slip stitch. And also, this is your last stitch over here where you made the chain one. So do not skip it into that stitch. Make your final slip stitch. To begin on the next row, chain one, turn your work around and make slip stitch in each and every stitch until you complete the row. So at the end of the row and this one over here is your final stitch. So you should be having something like this. Uh, you might see that your work is curvy, don't worry, because if you stretch it out, it's going to even out. So now you're going to repeat this over and over again until you get uh, the size of your leg. I have already made I have already made this piece over here and you can't believe it that this small piece over here actually fits my leg and I'm size 5 that is size 38 UK so a little of this pattern goes a long way because it's super super stretchy so I'm going to increase the size of this one over here so that I can have exactly the same size as this one and then I'm going to meet you at that point and we're going to start shaping these house slippers. So once you have the length of your foot now it's time to join the back of the shoe and you're going to use a darning needle to do this as you can see my needle is quite blunt. So take the two sides and align them together and we're going to use the crisscross motion to sew in. Just watch what I'm doing in the video. In each and every stitch sew the two parts together. Once you're done sewing the two sides, now weave in your ends and then when you're done, you're just going to cut off this extra yarn. Now turn your work on to the other side and now let's fix the front part. So now when you're done, you're going to leave a long tail and we're going to use this needle to fix this front part. 
I have already fixed the right part as you can see this edging is on this other side this is the right leg and so I'm going to show you how to fix this left leg and this this part is going to be on this other side so that when you put it like this you have this on this other side and this on this other side so now divide your work into two and that's the middle point fold your work like that and then fold the upper part to lie on top of it and i'm going to count seven seven rows and then i'm going to mark it with a stitch marker do the same with yours like that count seven rows on the other side also mark it with a stitch marker now fold your work into two the seventh row should line the first row of the top part like that and then the bottom part the first row should line with the seventh row on the upper part so the next thing is to sew those two sides together So make sure the down part is a little bit under the upper part exactly what you're seeing in the video let the upper part be slightly above the down part carefully sew it well together to secure it properly So make sure your last stitch is well aligned with the last stitch of the other part and sew it carefully well like that. So the next thing is to sew that area so that you can achieve that sharp pointed vibe and we're still going to use this yarn to do so as you can see i'm sewing in each and every stitch going towards the sharp pointed area So go ahead and sew it until you get to the peak. And then carefully close that peak and secure it properly well. yeah like that so now we have our two shoes and that's how it looks like so now let's fix the pom-poms so now wrap uh, your yarn around your finger in this case i did 30 rounds Take another strand of yarn and wrap it around the yarn like that and tighten it off to, sec to secure it properly, tie it twice or thrice. Now cut uh, the yarns using the scissor. So you're just going to cut all of them and then we're going to start trimming them off.
once you have your pom pom ready we're going to attach it at the center point of your shoe So now go ahead and sew it through the pom pom to secure it properly well. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please make sure you subscribe before you log out. And thank you so much for watching until the end. I truly, truly appreciate you so, so much. Yay! Finally the shoe is done. See you next time. Goodbye.